This is breaking news. Thank you to all of the people that hear the FDNY uh, as, as often as possible. Uh, we're messaging that lithium ion batteries that are unregulated, that you're buying in places that are unregulated, kill people. And we appreciate the public hearing us, and we will not stop. Although deaths have decreased because people are listening, uh, this is number four and it's too many. And I will not stop talking about unregulated lithium ion batteries and the, the dangers uh, that they cause until we're at zero. So I'm joined today by our Chief Fire Marshal, Dan Flynn, and our Chief of Department, John Esposito, and I'll hand it over to the Chief for uh, some comments about fighting the fire. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, good morning. So earlier this morning, uh, our units arrived here and found a very heavy fire condition on the second floor. When lithium ion batteries ignite, uh, it's a much more serious, much uh, more involved fire. Uh, thankfully, our firefighters were quickly able to uh, stretch hose lines and extinguish the fire before it spread to uh, additional apartments and, and throughout. Uh, and I would say that uh, we were kind of lucky that we were able to do that. Uh, as quickly as, as we did, considering the heavy fire condition uh, with minor injuries. I'm going to pass it on to Chief Fire Marshal Dan Flynn to talk about the cause of the fire. Good afternoon. Uh, so, as mentioned, our Fire Marshal determined that the cause of this fire was a lithium-ion battery. Uh, the occupants were home at the time of the fire. Uh, they heard the battery fail. It made a noise. They attempted to extinguish that fire clearly were unable to extinguish the fire. Uh, the device was blocking uh, the egress of the person that succumbed from their injuries. Uh, that's a message we've been pushing out from the start. Do not put these devices between you and the front door. Uh, you have to have a plan, make sure that you can get out. This device was purchased online. Uh, we do not believe it was a certified device. Uh, do not try to extinguish these fires. Call 911. Let us get out there as quickly as possible to, ex to extinguish these. You will not be able to put these things out on your own. You need the fire department to put them out. As the commissioner mentioned, one fatality is too many. But so far this year, we've had four. This time last year, we had 14. So we've made some progress. The amount of fires that we've had is the same as it was this time last year. We're at 219 fires. That's a tremendous amount of fires uh, here within the city. Uh, fortunately, I believe our message is getting out there. We've had 35 less structural fires. That's a message we want to push out to everybody. When possible, keep these outside. Please keep them outside. Do not uh, let them obstruct your way out also. Another issue that we faced here, the smoke detector had been uh, removed in this apartment. Uh, really, make sure that you have working smoke detectors in your apartment. Reach out to us. We can help you. We can, we can install smoke detectors for you. We can provide them for you. Uh, make sure you have a working smoke detector. Unfortunately, uh, uh, one of our citizens was lost this morning. Uh, we, please go to our website, fdnysmart.org, and uh, see our safety tips related to lithium-ion batteries. This is a problem that we continue to face. Uh, we're attacking it from all angles. Uh, we need the public's help as well, though. Please share uh, your concerns. If you see a battery that you think doesn't look right, if you see storage of batteries that you think do, do not look right, Please call 311. We promise we'll get out there within 12 hours to inspect those properties. Thank you. What can you tell us about the person who died? Were they an occupant of the home with the unit where the fire started? Yes, uh, it was a 69 year old male. He uh, was an occupant of the, the apartment. Uh, he was in his bedroom. Uh, that's where the device was as well when it failed. Was it his device? Uh, it, was a, it was a family occupied apartment. Uh, there were five occupants of the apartment. Uh, there were two minor injuries as well. Uh, that's, that's from the other occupants attempting to extinguish the fire, which I mentioned is impossible to do on your own. Uh, so they attempted to extinguish the fire. They were able to escape with minor injuries. Uh, there were two, ch two children as well that self evacuated that did not sustain injuries. So all five were in the apartment? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, the, the fire itself was contained to one apartment, yes. And also on the DOB website, it said there were a number of complaints about elevators being down. Could people get, uh, and not that you're supposed to take an elevator, but any issues with that? Uh, I, I would refer any DOB complaints to DOB. Uh, this fire was on the second floor. Uh, I'm unaware of any issues of people escaping. And there's the also a complaint about door, door, doors not 
closing properly? Was that an issue? Did the apartment door close also? Uh, I'm, I'm not aware of that at this time. Colin, anything, Colin? Is there a type of fire extinguisher you could use to put out uh, with the ion batteries? Again, again, I strongly recommend you do not attempt to extinguish these on your own. Uh, your conventional fire extinguishers will really not be as effective as they would be in other fires. Call 911 immediately. Let us get out there and extinguish them. Uh, we believe just one device that actually failed. Yes. Uh, it was a it was a sit on top uh, scooter. Are they okay? Go ahead, Colin. Are you able to hear the victim's name at this no. point? Not at this time. No. Okay. Everybody okay? Yep. Thank you, Chief. Thank you.